G'day legends, I hope you're all awesome. I've got this 90s Fender Buddy Guy Strat on the bench today. This one actually belongs to my dad and it's got three Fender Lay Sensor Golds in it. It also originally came with the kind of Fender mid-boost circuit that's been disabled in here. And you can see a couple of other fun things like the scratch plate was kind of cut away so that you could mount a Roland GK pickup on it, which isn't on there at the moment. But it's a pretty sweet playing guitar. I really like the neck. He refretted it with some jumbo frets, which are super comfortable under the fingers. So what I'd do is I'd give you a little blues jam with this to get started so you can kind of hear the main flavors out of this guitar, including the five-way pickup combination on here. Then we'll kind of just talk about some of the sounds and what I like about these pickups. I feel like lay sensors are pretty maligned nowadays. You see a lot of guitars from this era with the original pickups replaced. I don't know if that's because people genuinely don't dig the pickups or if guitars that kind of came out with lay sensors as factory pickups came out in like the early to mid 90s and then the late 90s, early 2000s was the great pickup replacement boom. So everybody changed their pickups out and kind of stuck with whatever they put in there. But as you probably heard there for that kind of bluesy tone, the neck pickup's pretty sweet, but the bridge pickup is really in your face and cutting and bright. The middle pickup has loads and loads of quack and the in-between positions kind of sound like the in-between positions. Now this guitar acoustically is really, really bright. Hopefully you can kind of pick up that out of tune G chord there, you know, maple neck, maple fretboard. I think this is probably ash or swamp ash of some variety. So it's a really bright guitar to start with. And that bridge pickup is pretty over the top. But having said that, the neck pickup and the neck and middle position, I really like on here for those kind of super processed clean sounds and anything vaguely Alex Lifeson, Ty Table, or that whole era in there. So here's a bunch of sounds, some in isolation, some over a backing track with the various five positions on this guitar. Before we do that though, I'm gonna just let you hear it against my main Strat, which is a 1977 Strat that has some Sir Michael Landau signature pickups in it. We'll just hear the neck and bridge and then my Strat with EMGs, which I did a similar video about and I'll probably title this one like Lay Sensors Suck, right? I don't know, do they? You let me know in the comments. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, I can certainly see why some people wouldn't get on with these pickups on here, especially if you're more into the kind of edge of breakup bluesy thing in here. They definitely do not sound like vintage Strat pickups. They've got their own thing going on, but I guess they're around 30 years old. The design is definitely older than 30 years, so they're probably considered vintage themselves, which is kind of interesting in itself. So let me know your thoughts on lay sensors. Are you rocking them in any of your guitars? Did you have them in guitars and you really didn't enjoy them? And do you enjoy them for the same sort of tones that I do? I think they really shine under loads and loads of processing, kind of like EMGs. They give you that extra clarity that you need to cut through a lot of time-based effects and fuzz and distortion and all that glorious stuff. And I will leave you with one last jam. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, there are links in the video description, which you can follow and support what I'm doing. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>